is voting in the upcoming EU referendum determined by loyalty to a party line and influenced by issues such as immigration? One open university academic thinks there's something more fundamental driving voting intentions. It's been a detailed study, but just before the vote, she is meeting more voters. So I'd like to show you a picture. Okay. Have a look at this picture. What does that say to you about belonging in the European Union? The reason why I use the picture is it gives people an opportunity to explore their attitudes towards the European Union. I'd say it symbolises togetherness in the European Union. I'd say it's slightly biased. And all together holding each other up. I saw the European Union being this sort of body that we all feel that we are now attached to. People can project a future identity onto this question. They can explore the European Union quite easily. And how are you feeling about this EU referendum? Have you got a view of how? Yeah, I believe we should leave, uh -huh. definitely, yeah. But at the moment, I'd say, yeah, definitely got to stay in. Better to remain in, I think. I think they shouldn't leave Europe. I don't think that the European Union is a bad thing. At this point, I'm thinking leave. You've made your mind up. Can yeah. I ask you if um, you're in or an out on this I'm decision? an out. What we found when we asked people whether they consider themselves a part of the European Union is that their answers related quite a lot to the extent to which they were migrants or had some degree of mobility. I spent time outside the UK. Arrived on the 1st of May. Bedford and Milton Keynes. I'm going to live in Paris for a year next year. I'm planning to stay in Britain. Yeah. My dad was an immigrant. We're quite content where we are. Yeah. So what I did in my study is that I organised those answers along 10 positions. And if you have a look at this line here, you can see the positions. So people who were from the city, their parents were from the city, maybe even their grandparents were from the city, didn't consider themselves to be part of the European Union. Once you get any degree of mobility moving into the story, i.e. they're from, maybe they travel to Italy for holidays or have worked abroad for a bit, um, they start to consider themselves part of the European Union. So once you move all the way to here, serial non-settled, that's people who have moved maybe quite a few times right from an early age and fully intend to move again and what we found is that those people consider themselves to be a part of the European Union. One of the interesting additional findings is what we found is that black and minority ethnic people irrespective of their degree of mobility were rather sceptical about the European Union project and we've asked ourselves why that was the case and what we suspect is the case is that they see Britain as part of a global picture and they're exploring the idea of Britain being a global player. What we found is that this debate about the European Union isn't particularly party political. People do have opinions on the European Union and this EU referendum debate is giving them an opportunity to explore those opinions. What we see is that people's opinions on the European Union is affected by their understanding of the world and their understanding of how they fit into the world and their own degree of mobility. So for voters it's a question of the extent to which you're going to travel, the extent to which you're going to travel for work and the sorts of opportunities that such mobility might create for future generations. Thank <music> you.